back guys this is awesome with full and egg and today's video we're in a Fent 724 s4 we're gonna be talking all about cruise control and our rpm settings we're at our saskatoon dealership just outside of it so we'll dive right into the video to start the video off we're going to talk about cruise control we have three cruise controls in the Fent tractors they all are engaged by bumping the joystick to the right as we can see down here. We can view two of the cruise controls within the monitor as C1 and C2, being able to edit them by clicking and scrolling. We also see C1 and C2 on the joystick. This is how to call the function up. As you see, it is illuminated here now after I've pressed it and it is illuminated on the monitor. And if we would like to engage this function, we bump the joystick to the right, and that has now switched from orange to green. If we click C1 again, it takes away our cruise control, but we are still maintaining the speed that we are at until we pull back on the joystick. This is the same for C2 as it is for C1. To engage our third cruise control, which we cannot view within the monitor or on the joystick like this, we have to begin moving forward. And as if we bump the joystick to the right when no other cruise control is called up, it will keep us at the constant speed we were going. If we pull back on the joystick, we can slow down and come to a stop. Now to talk about the engine RPMs, we have, we can see a minimum and a maximum button on the joystick, as well as we have this hand lever where we can adjust the RPMs by moving the hand lever. If we go on our monitor and click the tractor and then go to which looks like two gears and RPMs and at the very bottom we can see minimum and maximum RPMs. We can edit these figures by clicking and scrolling And to engage these, all we have to simply do is click min or max. And this way we can simply engage whichever preset we have our minimum and maximum RPMs. And when a minimum or a maximum is engaged, if we would like to cancel it, we can just simply click the button again and it will go to whichever it was idling at. If TMS is on, it will go right down to our base idle. That's it for today's video everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and we will see you in the next video. Have a good day.